Hi, it's Corrine today for Wild Orchid Crafts, and today I have a mini album to share with you. I also have a full start to finish on how this mini album came together that I will play here in just a moment, but I thought I would do a quick flip through of this album. I'm using lots of gorgeous products from Wild Orchid Crafts, which I'll be sure to link down in the description box as well as over on my blog. I hope you stop by and check them out. And I'm using this adorable digital paper collection. It's from an Etsy seller and it is called Velvet Vintage Art. The name of the collection is Oh Baby Girl, so I'll be sure to link that down in the description box as well. Really cute images on this. And this album is a five page chipboard album and it is seven and a half by four and a half. It'll hold, hold three by three photos. On the front here, I have one of those Michaels frames that I took the, the backing off so it wasn't quite as dimensional. I wanted some dimension, but I didn't want it to stand up too high. And I added this adorable little um, sentiment in it that says Little Miracle. And I used some of the digital papers that come in this collection in the background. This Little Miracle I got from the online Silhouette store. And I used this small organza rose trimming from Wild Orchid Crafts. This is some of my favorite. I always love having that in my stash. I added some to this side and right here as well. I added a white satin bow with a little bit of a, a tulle bow. And I used one of these acrylic flowers that was in my stash and added a little of the diamond flowers from Wild Orchid Crafts right in the center of that. Again, look at this adorable paper. Here's the back as well, it's the same paper. If you've never used digital papers before, check the description box. I have a video where I talk more about how to use digital papers. I like to use them in my Silhouette Studio, which if you don't have a Silhouette, you can use their, their software, their basic software for free. It allows you to download it for free. And it's as simple as printing the papers out and cutting them out. You can let your electronic die cutting machine cut them out if you want, or you can just cut them by hand. Um, most of these I just cut by hand because they were just a, a rectangle shape. So here's the first page. I designed a pocket for the page. It says Baby Love. I added some Crystal, nu Crystal Nouveau drops in white. I added a cute little bow with one of those rhinestone embellishments from Wild Orchid Crafts. And this pocket will hold little journaling cards that photos can be added and photo, small photos can be added to the pocket as well. Here's a photo mat again. This is three and a half by three and a half. The white mat is three and a quarter square. So a three by three photo will fit perfectly on this. And then here are some of the little tags that come in the collection kit, super cute. And then this adorable paper and this paper here for the pocket I just pulled from one of the colors that were in this paper pack that color right there so it matches perfectly and I did a white border for the pocket as well on this side again all the photo mats are going to hold a three by three photo I added some Sweetheart Blossoms, the two-tone baby pink from Wild Orchid Crafts. Here I added a little flip pocket, again using this adorable imagery from the collection. On this side it has little journaling lines. This side I have my photo mat with a border of this flat back flower trim. I love this trim from Wild Orchid Crafts. I also used half of a heart doily from Wild Orchid Crafts, some of the white magnolia flowers, and I have a two-tone pink hellbore flower here, and some flat back glitter balls. And then look how cute this paper is behind it. Here I have another pocket with a wonky scalloped edge, and I left a white matting. And I put on here, and though she be little, she is fierce. Added some white stars and then some of these adorable flower embellishments. And then look at the cute, let me pull these out here. I love this star paper. And again, this color here for the pocket is that background color of the star. So I was able to add that myself, being that I was working with the digital collection. 
super cute. This is probably my favorite from the entire collection. Look how cute he is. It says, hello world, baby on board. These are four by four, and then this I made uh, three by four, I believe. This was really fun to work with. Makes a cute little brag book. And again, photos or journaling can be added on the back of all these little mats in here. Look at this cute paper. So to this one, I added some of the white flat back pearl trim from Wild Orchid Crafts. Another one of their doilies, just a partial doily. I cut it in half so they go further. And then I added some of my favorite flowers, which are the off-white chrysanthemums, and a little tag that says adore. This side, I have a little bow with a flat back heart embellishment, some more of those rhinestone flowers. And this one flips open. Look how cute that is. It says best friends. A little scalloped edge. And I did put magnets on these. So it flip opens to reveal that little imagery again with a Polaroid that says heart this. And some more journaling lines on the side. On this side, I did pop up my photo mat. I added a... Um, foam die cut from a um, penny black I believe die that says imagine I had some rolled flowers in my stash in cream added some pearls to those and then I added this trimming that I had in my stash with the off-white or the ivory flat back pearl from Wild Orchid Crafts and then a little journaling tag with one of their self-adhesive pearls and it says I love you to the moon and back cute papers and this is popped up on chipboard and lastly on this page I have some of the white Cristo Nouveau, Nouveau drops my photo mat some open roses in pink mist from Wild Orchid Crafts and some more of those two-toned sweetheart blossoms I have a little bow with another heart to the center and then two of these little journaling cards this one is from a simple stories collection and then the back so if you'd like to stay tuned for the start to finish on how this came together please do if you have any questions please leave me a comment and check the description box for all the links to this adorable digital paper along with all the gorgeous products that wild orchid crafts has to offer thanks so much for stopping by and have a great day i'm starting out with four pieces of medium weight chipboard that are cut to seven and a half by four and a half and some distress paint picket fence to edge all my corners I do two coats of those I let them dry in between and in the end I add end up adding a fifth piece of chipboard but at this point I thought I was only going to do four so I end up my book and ends up having five pieces of chipboard I also cut out eight pieces of paper here but I needed ten of seven and a half by four and a half white cardstock I'm using some Fabri-Tac and making sure to get all my edges and pressing it down, making sure it's adhered down very well. If any of the glue seeps over, over you can just kind of wipe it off. Fabri-Tac is really great to work with. It also gives you a minute to kind of move it around to get it exactly where you want before it adheres down. I'm using my brayer to make sure it's adhered very well, and I do that to all my pieces. Here are two pieces that I designed on my Silhouette Studio. They're gonna be a little flip pages that you may have seen in the beginning of the video and I'm just scoring them to give myself approximately about a half inch um, fold there and that's what's going to adhere down to my chipboard. So now I'm just going to crease those with my bone folder make sure I have a good crease on them. And I'm going to adhere those down to my chipboard before I adhere my cover paper. That way my paper will cover up that little hinge there. So again, just using Fabri-Tac, pressing it down, using my brayer, and making sure it's adhered before I put down my other piece. So I'm going to do that to both pieces of chipboard. One has a small scallop edge and the other one has a wonky larger scalloped edge. And if any of the glue seeps out, just wipe it off or use a 
um, adhesive remover to remove it. So again, it, making sure I'm getting glue on all my edges, I'm just adhering that down on the top and that just hides that little flap that was underneath. I do go back and add a magnet to these as well, just to make sure that they stay down when the album is being opened and closed. So I'm adhering my second piece, pressing that down very well. And a little glue did seep out, so I'm using my adhesive remover and just rubbing that off. It comes right off, no problem. And now I'm just using my bone folder to make sure again that I have a good crease there. And that gives me my two little flip pockets. And I have the basic gray magnets, the small magnets. They're very strong. I got them from Amazon. Really easy to adhere down. They have some double-sided tape already adhered to them. So you just pull off the tape backing and adhere them to where you want. Super simple to use. So I'm putting down one piece first, the negative I add or the positive, and then I add the negative to the top, remove the tape backing, and it's adhered right where I want it. So here I want to show you some of these really adorable papers. These are all cut to seven and a quarter by four and a quarter. So it gives me a little bit of a white border. And I'm just going to go around with my ATG and adhere all these down. And I want to make sure to get some glue right around the magnets as well. And here are my little inside pieces. Again, this one adhering with my ATG. Super cute images. That's for my outside flap. And now this one I'm going to adhere the matte piece down with some Fabri-Tac because of the scalloped edges. Instead of trying to get my tape runner to get in those small ed uh, scallop portions, I just decided to go ahead and use my Fabri-Tac. A little hard to see on camera, but those do have some journaling lines on them. And now these two pieces I left blank on the bottom because I knew I was adding pockets to them. So there's no sense in wasting the ink on them. And my pockets, I did double the cardstock just to make sure that it was sturdy since it's going to be holding photos and, and journaling cards. And I'm adhering those two together again, using the Fabri-Tac, getting in all those little scallop edges. And now I'm just going to adhere down my papers and then add my pockets to them, adding the glue to the three sides, leaving the top open. And a little glue seeped out. I just used a napkin to wipe that off. And if any gets on your paper, just again, use that adhesive remover. That Fabri-Tac is really great. Comes right off. You'll never see that it was even on there. So I'm adding my second pocket. and pressing that down. And now I'm adding my photo, or excuse me, my pattern paper to the rest of my pages. I do most of that off camera, just using my ATG, removing some of the glue that was on there. Now I'm kind of putting them in order the way I want. Here's one of those Michael's um, at the time it was the dollar spot frames. I'm just pulling off the back because that adds a lot more bulk, removing the hot glue that was left on there. And now I'm going to print off a tiny little sentiment piece to go behind it. And I wanted to add a little bit of transparency, so I'm just cutting that down to size. I'm going to use some double-sided adhesive to adhere that down. And I had to open up a new one here, so I'm just finishing that off, adding the rest of the tape. So I make sure that I go around the entire frame there. And now I needed to add smaller pieces. I do have one eighth inch tape, but I have this out. So it was just quicker to cut it. So I'm cutting my quarter inch tape down because I just need thin pieces and I'm adding it to the back of the sentiment. I wasn't thinking, I realized here in just a minute that I needed to add it to the front. 
So here's where I realize it. And I'm just getting out a non-stick mat to stick that to while I add the tape where I actually needed it to the front. I would have needed some glue or adhesive on the back eventually, but I wasn't thinking at the time. So adding it to the front and now I can place it right over the frame, get that centered where I want. And I do, while I'm kind of setting it to see where I want, I do still have that non-stick mat behind it so it doesn't stick to the paper when I don't want it to stick. So I pulled out some of this small white organza rose trimming from Wild Orchid Crafts. I love this. And it does come with tool on the sides and sometimes I leave that on, sometimes I cut it off. Today I'm cutting that off. Really easy to trim. And now I'm pulling out some tool because I wanted a little tool bow to add to my frame. And I was trying to decide what to add to the center and I came across these little acrylic flowers that I've had in my stash for quite a while and I thought that was a perfect center to it. So I'm adding some Fabri-Tac and I will clamp that down and set that aside while I give it a moment to dry. And I'm using my Fabri-Tac to add my organza rose trimming. I was waiting for my hot glue gun to heat up so I just used that instead at the time. I love the hot glue that it adheres immediately. And I added just a couple dabs of E6000 because I know that will adhere it very well. It'll never go anywhere once that's dry. Behind the tool bow, I decided I wanted to add a little bit of white satin ribbon. So I'm just tying off a little bow to add a double bow to that here. So I just keep looking at it, getting it to the exact size that I want before I cut it down and adhere it. Again, I'm just going to adhere it with my hot glue gun and then add my tool right to the top of that. I was really happy with how that turned out. Here are the little journaling cards. I'm gonna adhere them onto some four by four white card mats. This one's a two by four. And then I'll just put those in the pockets. They're great to add photos to or little journaling. And now I'm just, I pulled out some cardstock that I thought would match and I'm cutting these down to three and a half by three and a half mats. I wasn't sure which ones I would use at this point, but I cut out several that I had in my stash that I thought would go well. I cut a pink one off camera as well. And now I'm going to ad adhere my white mats to them. My white mats are three and a quarter inch square. Again, that way this will hold a three by three photo perfectly. So off camera, I glue down all my mats together using my ATG, and then I just add them on my pages here. Some I added straight and then others I, I added a little bit off, a little bit to the side. or crooked, I guess you could say. So now I'm just kind of flipping through to decide what I want to use to embellish it. For this first one, I pulled out some Nouveau Crystal Drops in white. I love using these. After I did this, I needed to set that aside and I do let them dry overnight actually. This here, I'm using some beautiful flat back white pearl trim from Wild Orchid Crafts. And I like using my Fabri-Tac for that. I quickly just Adhere that down around the entire frame. And that really adheres pretty quickly. And now I wanted to add some chrysanthemums. These are the off-white chrysanthemums. And I started to glue it down and I realized I wanted to add a doily behind it. So I just quickly pulled that back up. The hot glue wasn't quite dry yet, so I was able to just peel that off. And I'm trying to fit in my doily there, but I had to rip up that side of the pearl trim, which was fine because the Fabri-Tac had not completely adhered down. So I just pulled it up, added my Fabri-Tac, and now I'll re-glue down my pearl trim. And that way the doily is tucked under the pearl trim. I didn't want it butting up against it and seeing a space in between. So now I'm adding my flowers. I'm making sure not to glue them onto the photo mat. That way the full three by three photo can fit on there. Love how that page turned out. This one here, I'm adding three of the Sweetheart Blossoms. These are the two-tone baby 
pink and ivory right to the side there. Again, making sure not to glue onto the photo mat. I'm gluing right to the side of it. This one here, I pulled out some more doilies. I knew I had some heart doilies, so I'm seeing, using my hand, just kind of seeing how I think that'll look. And I just pulled up that piece of paper, the matting. It, it was put down by ATG. So I was able to just kind of pry that so I could tuck that doily underneath it. Wild Orchid Crafts has some beautiful doilies, different colors as well as you can see. So now I'm pulling out some of this gorgeous flower trim. I only add one side at this point because I wasn't sure if I wanted to go around the entire mat, which I do. I end up going around all of it. So I just adhere it to the one side first, and then I'm going to add some white magnolia flowers. Again, those are some of my favorites. So I'm just trimming off some of the stems. I kind of open them up and then again, I'll glue them not to the white mat itself, but to the side of it. And I knew it needed a third flower. So I'm pulling out these pink and ivory hellbore flowers. Beautiful. I also add a lily flower to the center as well because it had kind of a gap in between the flowers and I didn't like the way it looked. So using my hot glue again, I'll adhere those down tuck in my little lily right there in the middle. I was really happy with how that turned out. And now I'm going to pull out some of the flat back glitter balls, tuck three of those. And here's where I decided I wanted to add the trim all the way around. So I do most of it off camera, but same process. I use my Fabri-Tac and just adhere it down. This one here, I decided I wanted some trim. So again, I just pulled off that mat and I'm just seeing where I want the trim to go using my hot glue gun to adhere it down. And being that it's going to be dimensional, I needed to add some chipboard to the top and bottom. And in the end, I end up adding a little chipboard to the middle as well, since there was nothing added to the middle. I wanted it to sit flush all the way across. So I'm using this ivory flat back trim. This is just beautiful trim and my Fabri-Tac adhering that down to where you'll see it. And I added two layers of the chipboard. That's what you're seeing there, me gluing two layers. And then here's for the middle so it sits flush. And then I just hot glued that straight down. This gets rid of any hot glue string, so I'm just going around anywhere that I adhered flowers just to get rid of any hot glue strings that are still hanging out. I have this little frame from my stash. Um, I cut it from the Silhouette Cameo and it says heart this. And I used one of these adorable little images from the paper collection. I'm adding a transparency piece in between the two pieces that I'm sandwiching together. And then I will glue that right behind that little flap. So when you open it up, you see this little cute Polaroid. And if the mom wanted to, she could add a little date to the bottom of the, the Polaroid of whatever photo she's adding on that page. So that hides right behind that little flip out and it also has journaling lines on the side there. I'm deciding what I wanted to add to this page and I pulled out these rhinestone embellishments. They're little flowers with little diamonds in the center. I love these from Wild Orchid Crafts. So I'm adding three of those to the little flip. I'm just kind of going to each page when I have an idea of what I want to do. So I'm flipping back and forth. This one here, that's a foam die cut, a penny black die cut that says imagine. So I'm gluing it on the left and the right and I'm leaving it open so the photo can be slid right under it. And here I had some rolled flowers in my stash. They're like a light cream color. I'm adding some little round pearls to the center with my hot glue, and then I'm just going to adhere those down. I have this little, it says adore label. So I added that to that other page. And now this little label says, I love you to the moon and back. 
it's a tag so to the top of the tag I'm going to add a pearl I pulled out one of these self-adhesive pearls from Wild Orchid Crafts and although it is self-adhesive I like to add a little bit of glossy accents to it just to make sure that with opening and closing the album it won't go anywhere so I just kind of tuck that under there. This is when I had realized I needed an extra page because my very last page was that page that ended with photos and I didn't want to, I wanted my very back page, my album to be blank. So I'm adding one more page quickly to it, my photo mats, and then these cute little journaling cards. These are from Simple Stories. I added a couple of the open roses in pink mist and a couple sweetheart blossoms adhering those down quickly and then adding a little bow with a heart embellishment to the center. I only adhered the bow down on the right so the photo could still slide under. And then I did want to finish it off with a couple of the Crystal Nouveau drops. Before I did that, I realized I wanted one more flower on there. So I tucked that to the side and now I'll go ahead and add my Crystal Nouveau drops and then I let these dry overnight. I came back to this project the next morning. So pretty, I love this collection. Here's the next morning, I'm using my Crocodile. I made a little template out of some copy paper and then I'm just using my pencil to mark it. That way I can go ahead and punch my holes and add my binder rings to it. Before I do that, I added a couple more bows and um, I, I'm not sure if I did that on camera or not, but I added some flowers to the center of the bows. And here I found these purple uh, binder rings that look really cute with it. Here, here I am adding the little flowers in the center of the two bows. and a couple to this page as well to the pocket. That's really all there was to it. If you have any questions, please leave me a comment. I really appreciate you staying tuned for the entire start to finish on it. Thanks so much for watching and I hope you've enjoyed it. Mm -hmm.